Well, a lot of people want to build a real estate empire and build cash flowing assets and then hold those assets forever and let them cash flow and then leave them to their heirs. And let's say you end up leaving them to three children. Okay. Let's say two of those children are super interested in what you did to build wealth. They're mirroring your principles. They want to take over the real estate. They want to grow it. They want to be a part of it. Let's say one child's like, you know, and no offense to artists, but let's say they're just maybe a little more free spirited. They want to go do something completely different than maybe the family real estate portfolio. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just as an example. Well, survivorship life insurance can provide the estate liquidity to basically buy out that heir so that the other two could just inherit the entire real estate portfolio and keep it in alignment with what their values are and where they want to build their wealth. So, you know, in that example, you might look at a family and say, okay, well, what's the projection of this real estate going to be? Okay, how could we, you know, set up a policy where we could specifically designate it to go to one of the beneficiaries and they can basically use that to buy out um, that beneficiary so they can take over the real estate instead of having to liquidate assets to get them their portion. So uh, where some families get into trouble is they might build really successful businesses. They might uh, build a lot of different, you know, asset classes like real estate. Um, and then when it comes time for the estate to be distributed, you know, maybe those beneficiaries don't agree on what they want to see happen. Or maybe one of them says they're in a different position and they go, look, I want my money right now, or I need my money right now. Well, having some estate liquidity can be really, really important so that it doesn't disrupt everything that that family built and worked for and interrupts the compounding of that generational wealth. So survivorship life is a very economical way to solve that problem. You can designate a, what I would argue a relatively small amount of premium to get a very large benefit.